finally here. After a long off-season and a training camp that included two exhibition games in China, it's time for the Boston Bruins to play games that count. As the team makes final preparations for the season opener, Bruins ownership and management gather to answer questions and lay out expectations at the annual media day. My expectations have never lessened in so far as this team is concerned. I think they look really, they're young, they, we've got that on our sides and we've got a good warehouse of, of talent. I expect them to, to improve on last year. Well, we all start back at the bottom, so all teams are in the same boat. I'm sure they're, uh, every other general manager looks at their own roster and they cross their fingers, they get through camp healthy, and, and, and obviously we had an injury there, so you know, we move forward. We have, a, we have a strong returning core of guys, and we've got some younger players that hopefully have benefited from last year, and they can take another step, and other players that are going to have to try and push through. Our season last year, our regular season last year was pretty impressive. Um, I, don't wanna, I don't want us to look at our, our, our point total and, and how many wins I want us to look at, are we, are we playing the way we want to play? Are we playing the way the coach would like us to play? Are we competing in a way that gives us chances to win every game? And are we getting better as the season progresses as we lead, get into the playoffs? The Bruins begin the 2018-2019 season on the road, starting with a tough matchup against the defending Stanley Cup champions, the Washington Capitals. Bruins' bid to spoil the Caps' opening night celebration does not go well. Along to the outside. Swept across. One touch. Let's go! Oh, she! The black and gold go down to a disappointing defeat in the season opener. The only good news is that there is literally no time to dwell on it. Because less than 24 hours later, it's game two for Jake DeBrusque and the boys against the Buffalo Sabres. Oh my God! You feel amazing! Give me some of that, give me some of that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Showtime! No, I try to dangle. First game, I might as well give it a shot. Hey, once the dam breaks, it's gonna be game. Once the dam breaks for us, it's gonna be game. Jake's prediction turns out to be correct, and it's the captain who leads the way with the team's first goal of the season. The big man! Nice shot, baby. Where is the JD sign? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to steal it. Yeah? I, was, I wanted it, man. Hey, I tipped that shot. I don't know, like, what the I gotta do down there? The Bruins jump out to a 2 0 lead after one period and are playing well, but no puck luck for Jake, despite some quality chances. Oops! Oh, I'm gonna snap. I might all shed someone. I might all shed. I'm not kidding. I hate you like that. I got you. David Posternak's first goal of the season puts the bees up 3 0 and lightens the mood for some of the younger guys on the bench. What? Huh? It's gonna have to do it love. Yeah. 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 Yes! Right. Sweet victory! Let's go! What a difference a day makes. Yaroslav Halak gets the shutout, and Boston notches its first win of the new season. Woo! Sweet victory! <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I think it was a great effort uh, coming uh, from, uh, from a bad game. We all know we didn't play well last night, but I think tonight we showed that we can play. And, uh, uh, glad that, that you know, we got a win. Shout out is more special, but uh, wins are win. Right. Yeah. 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 You get what you deserve. You deserve to win. 
things we had to do well. We played for one another. Uh, you know, managed the puck well, took hits, blocked shots. Good for us. We deserved it. Good win, man. Well, that's good. That's good. the Bruins' home opener, a Columbus Day matinee. Patrice Bergeron and the Bees are in the house. But before the puck drops, there's quite a bit going on all around TD Garden. Bruins fans, it's opening day. You guys pumped up a lot. Make some noise. Let's go. Outside in Canal Street, it's Fan Fest, presented by TD Bank, with music, games, live TV and radio broadcasts, plus visits from Charlie Jacobs, Cam Neely, and even Bruins owner, Jeremy Jacobs. <laughs> Thank you. Inside, the excitement is mounting as game time draws near. But absolutely no one is more fired up than today's ceremonial puck drop participants. Look at my gold. Look at number one. Number one, right here. Recently, the Boston Bruins Foundation entered into a three-year partnership with Special Olympics of Massachusetts. The team will donate $1 million and help showcase the great work of Special Olympics. Today, that means several of their athletes get to drop the first puck of the season. I'm so excited. It's my first time doing that. Hope I see Michael White. I want to give him a big hug. <laughs> I'm telling you, I say good luck. I am extremely excited to do this. I'm excited for you guys to do it too. Yeah, it's a great honor to be a part of something, try to get out of there and be in our, be in our community. This, this is the best day of my life. So as the Bruins and the Special Olympians prepare to take the ice at a sold out TD Garden, you can feel the excitement and the love in the air. Come on, Mike. Let's go. Great start here in the home opener. And on the very first shift, Patrice Bergeron makes it even more memorable. Buster. In our game, huh? Let's go get another one. Hey! Now we work up. Not three, but we got a time. It's all you, bro. Good job. 37 stakes the bees to a 2 0 lead, but he knows this game is far from over, and he makes sure his teammates know it as well. Come on, guys, back at it! On the puck! Come on, come on, guys, give us a few bumps! Take care of the puck, boys! We managed the puck, we'll have the puck all night, boys! That's the hat trick for Patrice, and it puts the Bruins up by two. Added bonus, he gets to select some snazzy new headgear to celebrate the occasion. Oh my head. What? Thank you. Bergeron motors ahead over the red line, over the blue line, left side, twists into the far circle, back and they score! Patrice Bergeron laid a perfect saucer pass right on David Posternock, and he buries one. 5 2 Bruins. Yeah, buddy. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Good game, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you for you. I'll tell you one thing. The boys are back. I didn't say you, but I said one of them getting 
Last season, the Bruins' top line earned the nickname the Perfection Line, and they are indeed back. Two goals and two assists for David Pasternak. Three assists for Brad Marchand, while Patrice has three goals and an assist as they take the home opener in style. Intro song, <laughs> <laughs> Take with, my everyone. That's the way to stick with it. Wax, congrats on the first goal with us. Yeah. Keep it going, boys. Hold on. Can you fan him? Like, like cards, kind of? Oh. Gotta get Zachy up there with it. Oh. <laughs> you want to smile? <laughs> Good job, Zach. <laughs> Game number four of the young season brings Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers into TD Garden, which means Bruins defenseman John Moore and his teammates will need to be sharp if they want the win. Let's go! Let's go! Oh. I saw you above there, F3. I, I wanted to be aggressive there on that pinch. You're good with that? Okay. David Pasternak's highlight reel tally ties things at one. It also gets the whole Bruins team going. That a boy, Melzy. Thank you, Melzy. Great job. Hey, watch him late. Up. In the end, John and the defense hold steady. So it all works out to a 4-1 win, making it three in a row for Boston. All oh, great game, boys. Uh, big win, uh, a couple of big stops from the other uh, A couple of big hits, some uh, nice tilts too. So uh, let's keep it going. Yeah! The season is in full swing, and the Bruins are already back into their regular practice routine. Today, however, a few of the guys are getting some extra quality time out on the ice. Bruins close out their season opening homestand against the Detroit Red Wings. The 7 p.m. start has been moved up to three to avoid a conflict with the Red Sox ALCS game one. Now, it's up to Matt Grizzlick and the boys to send everyone home happy for the first pitch. Hey, Kevin and Mella. Kevin Mella. Johnny. Oh, kid. Hey, I got 70, I got 70. Millsy, if we win it, maybe you just like sprint wide, yeah. maybe home Thank goes you. to you, and then I'll go right to middle. Matt Grizzlick may not be the biggest guy in the NHL, but has shown himself to be a fast, puck-moving defenseman who makes good decisions. All that is on full display today. Ah! 
Eat your lunch. While 48 does his job on defense, the offense is firing on all cylinders today, quickly turning this game into a rout for the Bruins. Play JD. Take it. We don't know who's going to come at all this year. Won't be a last. Time, 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 time. That's unstoppable. Hey. Pasternak collects over the line to the far circle. Marsh in returns. They score! Throw him. That's the hat trick for David Pasternak. Big ass, brother. Hey. Oh boy. It's a runaway victory for the Bees that runs the win streak to four in a row and finishes the homestand on a very high note. D, great job, uh, you know, second period on to the attack and getting up the ice, getting your shots through, contributing, playing both ends of the ice, great lo reloads by the forwards. That's kind of our thing here, right? We, we defend as a group of five, we attack as a group of five, and it shows. So good, good job from start to finish. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Uh, we're hitting the road next week, so enjoy some time with your families. We'll see you Monday night. Yeah. We all know Zdeno Chara is a big man, the biggest man ever to play in the NHL. But today, he's a big man on campus. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? The Bruins captain is over at the Warren Prescott School in Charlestown, Mass. to help out with the first grade math class and have a little fun with the kids. 30, 20, 10. And what's this? 30, 30, 30. Good job, guys. We, we just did that, right? Let's try a different number. Oh, like, you guys got it. You're all set. Okay, so we have 30, 40, 50, 60, and 60, and we need 60. 61, 62. Yes. Am I in your way? Yeah, sorry. 11. I know. Everybody tells me that. So it all adds up. A Bruins player, a little math, yeah, and a few yeah. autographs equals a good time for everyone involved today. Say go Bruins! Go Bruins! Next up, the Bruins are heading west for a four-game Canadian road swing starting in the province of Alberta. After dropping game one against Calgary, the Bruins and the pride of Walpole, Massachusetts, Chris Wagner, look to bounce back the next night in a rematch with Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers. For the past several seasons, Chris has been one of the NHL leaders in hits delivered. Tonight, it's easy to see why. He plays every shift at full speed and with some serious Boston attitude. Log jam at the end. here. I think my dad and Pee Wee's. Deep into the third, the Bruins are down two to one. Time for Chris and the boys to turn up the heat. What's your issue? Why don't you get still a tough guy? Yeah, Heinz! Yeah. You did a hell of a job. You took everything out, I got full possession of it. Earned it. 
Not the outcome Boston was looking for, but the road trip and the season roll on. They will take the hard-earned point and keep going. October has been part trick and part treat for these Boston Bruins. Dazzling goals and dominant offensive stretches have mixed with a touch of the injury bug and a search for consistency to their game. We've seen what this team is capable of in the early going, so definitely don't go changing that channel.